Well, good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion, and we are in Indiana today because we are gonna see one man's home that he let his passion take over his home, and I think <laughs> it's gonna be something really amazing for us to check out. He even said, come on through. I'm gonna send you home with two of these things. So, let's go see what he has. Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins now. All right, 11 more miles. I'd say we found the place. Yeah, I'm the guy that called you. You're crazy, Bill. Yep. You're you're the man that's responsible for this beautiful birdhouse sanctuary here. <laughs> It is a mess. <laughs> I love it. I good, can't wait to look around. I just walked out of the deck and I noticed another stump right over here fell down. Oh God. <laughs> Have something to work on now, huh? Well, I can't do, I can't walk outside. I can't do nothing. Hey Bill, how many birdhouses do you, have you built here? Or how do you have around here? Well, at one time they were around almost 4,000 outside, but it's down to maybe 3,400 now because trees keep tearing them up. Wow. But yeah, And then there's several thousand in the house. Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Go ahead and look around. Well, as you can see, Crazy Bill lives right in the middle of Indiana, and he has an insane passion for birdhouses and each one a little bit different in its own way. So he's built this entire wonderland. Look at this, <laughs> Crazy Bill Larkin. He's built this entire place and we're gonna go for a walk. <laughs> Let's check it out. And he tells you when you call him, each person goes home with two birdhouses. Which is great. I love birdhouses. <laughs> now you can see it's not only birdhouses. There's birds and there's statues and he's just built a whole little world back here. Alright, let's see where the best path to start from is. I'd say right up here by his door, and he said he's got him inside, outside, we're welcome to come view them all, so... Scott and I figured we definitely needed to see this place. Anybody that took the time to build this, we gotta visit. I love Roadside America. And this is exactly the kind of Roadside America that you live for. It's free, it's colorful, it's crazy. The guy's got a story and a sense of humor. And as soon as you show up, you see this sign over here that says, free, great views from the deck, no steps, no charge, not selling anything, 1900 birdhouses in the dome, just laugh and have fun, free, no money. So look at this, <laughs> it goes, well, I mean, I guess we can take this path. We'll try and see as much as we can. It's gonna be pretty overwhelming, I think, but it goes all the way out onto the road out here. Let's see what he's created back here. and birdhouses of all styles, all sizes, all styles. He's even painted all the rocks down here. Look, that is a serious labor of love. Smiley faces all over the trees. <laughs> wow.
and he was telling us he's his uh his health isn't so great so his balance isn't the best so he said he can't even come out here and walk around it anymore look he's built little pathways and ramps and everything we'll take all those down You guys ready for this? Feels very secure actually. Oh, those are all dogs and statues of dogs down this aisle. But let's take this first. All kinds of alternative routes that you can <laughs> walk in from. Even a little sitting area over there. <laughs> there. Must be the ocean. I see a captain up there. Smoking a pipe. I have to say, it's very nice and peaceful out here. Wow. I'm a big fan of his style. I'll be honest. I love it. <laughs> if you're going to have bird houses, I guess make them bright and colorful. And all just different in one way, one little way. This is how much we still have to look through over there. We barely even scratched the surface over there. One lonely one right there in that stump. And that's what he said. He said these trees are falling over and they've been damaging his creations out here. God, they go all the way down there. even put little faces on a lot of these most of them on this tree and then those look like those smiley faces kind of look like pumpkins over there wow man he's got a lot of bird houses
Oh, see, that's what he's talking about. A tree fell and knocked over this whole pergola deal that he had here. There he created a dog's face. <laughs> Look, he's got birdhouses down there. Fallen. Look at all that. I mean, when you're painting the rocks, that is serious dedication. A birdhouse bar. This is a very cool roadside attraction. I love it. Little dogs. More faces. Now it looks like over here, he's got a whole section for the trolls and the gnomes to live. sign it says welcome to the nut house all right let's go back down and see the sections we haven't seen yet That is birdhouse overload. The artist here's name is Bill Larkin. That's who we were talking to when we got here. Oh my gosh, we haven't even seen like, not even half of it. <laughs> you know what my question is, does he get birds that come and use him? Is there bird seed anywhere? Do they frequent the bird motel here like they go all the way back there too
This is a lot of years worth of work. You can tell. Holy cow. When he said he at one time had 4,000, that was 3,400. 3,400 still <laughs> sounded like a lot, but not quite as many as when you see it in person. That is a lot of birdhouses. Wow. Scott, tell me one person you know that has more birdhouses. So cool. Each one is just a little bit different than the next. And he is so nice. Yeah. I can't wait to talk to him. He, he's just so sweet. This is, <laughs> there's nothing like this anywhere. Oh my gosh. This is better than I ever imagined. <laughs> Bill, you're living in paradise here. Oh, what a happy place. Look at all those birdhouses. Oh, it is a place that needs a lot of work and I can't do it. Who does the dusting? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that. All I could do is sit and paint. That's about all I do. You're doing a great job. How long have you been working on your house here and your property making this look like this? Well, for 14 years, I did flowers outside. Oh, really? Yeah, I bought annual plants and planted them. It got up to 30,000 annuals. Every inch of this place was flowers. And in 2011, we didn't get any rain here. Oh. And I watered and watered. It was, it got up to seven to eight hours a day. And I thought, this is not much fun. <laughs> wow. So I quit. So in two th that winter, I started building those big birdhouses. And, <laughs> and I put a thousand outside. I thought, there's no color here. So I started getting rocks and painting them. Yeah. And I did that for four summers. Wow. And then I finally filled up the outside, and I thought, i got to work on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> and you give away birdhouses, too, you said. Everybody gets two little free ones, yes. That's great. Wow, you have quite a masterpiece out there. <laughs> Truly. Just joy. It's just joy. <laughs> Love it. It really looked nice outside when everything was really nice. It doesn't look terrible. I don't know what what you think doesn't look nice, but those oh. those rocks look like they've been freshly painted. No, they need a lot kidding. of a lot wow. of them need re just touching them. Wow, look I at think that. they look great. I was as I was out there, I was thinking these must be He's freshly got all painted. different kinds. They look so circular good. birdhouses oh. and. That's so cool. And then look at his view out the window. You can see all of his work. This is, this is so interesting. I almost felt bad for, you know, bothering him and coming in, but he has a sign that says, come on in, so. Yeah. I can't get up. 
I see. I can't put any weight on my knees. And it's, if you're on the ground, you can't get up without putting weight on your knees. Do you have yeah. a walker that you use or a walking stick? I have a cane and three walkers. I yeah. can see they're right close to your chair, so you use them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cane is right there on the, the oh, okay. thing. Okay. I use it when I go out to the mailbox. So you can't go down anymore, down to the uh, Oh, no, no, no. I go up and down those all the time. Oh, yeah? Yo, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was painting. I only painted twice today downstairs. But I need to go downstairs and paint again, but I probably won't wait. I'll wait till tomorrow. Yeah. You're doing a great job here. I love it. Wonderland. How often do people come out here and visit you? I mean, come look around, take pictures and stuff. Well, every day. Every day? Multiple times a day? Oh, yeah. That's great. Uh, you know, tomorrow's supposed to rain. Last several Saturdays, there's been... 10 to 15 groups a day on Saturday, but there probably won't be anybody tomorrow. I don't know. What was your ultimate goal for this? Was there a, a stopping point for you that you were no, trying to get to? I, I just did things to do things. You just need something to do. I need something to do. So you'll probably continue doing it until you can't do it. Well, I can paint little birdhouses. That's about what I'm down to. Uh, I mean, I can't even do anything up here or anything. I'm, I'm grounded. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> and even though Bill says he's grounded, he still goes out and prints out yeah. pictures for his guests to take with him. Oh, Look at this. He, he said he was out today oh, printing these out for people to be able to take with him if they wanted. What a great guy. There he is. Bless this house. So we're gonna make people happy. This place is for the birds. <laughs> and I just. Every time I went anywhere, like locally, and I bought birdhouses to hang up there. Cause see, it's it's tongue board stained dark brown, and it is dark. Not anymore. Those three trees down there. Yeah. So those just fell. Well, they uprooted from the ditch because we had a huge rain. And they just went kabloom. And then when they cut them off, the stumps went back up in the air. So uh, the faces are, some of the things are off of them right now. And if my daughter comes here tomorrow or Sunday, maybe she can fish them out of the ditch or if they're down there even, I don't know. There you can see Bill does have neighbors, but they're all pretty cool. He said, <laughs> come out here and visit him anytime, he said. He basically lets people wander around from, I think his hours were 8 in the morning till 9 p.m. So Scott and I had to. I just did one row there, one row here, one row there. So you didn't have like a truck just drop off a ton of rocks for you? You just did a little every well, day? The ones, they can't, they don't have a pile of little ones. I see. They only have a pile of these, like the bigger yellow ones back there. So uh, I would bring a, you know, a truck in, and then of course I had to carry them down here. So that is a lot I of like work. The little ones much better. <laughs> <laughs> we walked through all that. Gravel out and dump it first. Yeah, gosh, I, just, I didn't even think of that. That's There's all gravel in between all of that. Oh, yeah. Whew. I tried to use a wheelbarrow. Not a good idea. No? Turned over every time. Oh, okay, yeah. One over, the tallest one way over there. Now, that one took a little time because it's, I know the one pole is a, not an eight foot pole, but it's a twelve. Oh, here we go. You got a resident? Foot. What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, there is finches in that one red bird house, I know. Four years and you did all that. That's great. I took a whole truckload of mulch that the they parts. dumped out front, and I took 75 wheelbarrows, 
le or really heaped up and I, I made a little path through there to get over there to dump. It was red mulch at that time. Of course, it's all crap now. Bill told me I could go ahead and take two of his birdhouses that had fallen down. He has some small miniature ones he gives to people, but I told him I recently got a house and he said, go ahead and take those because they had fallen down and I was gonna repaint them anyway, so take what you want. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. This was a great day. This was a lot of fun to meet Bill and to see his labor of love out here. Kind of crazy, he said, it used to all be flowers. Then one year they didn't get any rain, they didn't bloom, so he changed his whole course. Kind of interesting how something like that can change the whole course of his life and his house. <laughs> we'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Have a great night and goodbye.